Hi, I'm David Gott, and I'm an abstract bronze sculptor. I moved to the Northwest in 2010, and I got an apprenticeship with Julie Spidell and worked as a fabricator for her for 10 years. Um, she closed her shop in 2019, so I've been continuing this legacy of building sculpture ever since. So all of the experience I've gained has been on the job. I did not major in art history. I gained an apprenticeship and have been doing it for 10 years now. I'm inspired every day by just living life. Little things I find throughout the day that make me think deeper about just being here. Um, the trees swaying in the wind or how I see a constellation in the sky or even having a dream that night um, gives me ideas and thoughts and inspiration for my next work. And then it evolves from there. It's never a set thing. The ideas morph and change as they come to life and um, they just take on their beauty. So I just wanted to show you a couple of the major tools that I use in the uh, fabrication process of my sculptures. Um, I use pretty rudimentary tools, nothing real major. Uh, this is my shop, actually. It's nothing real big. I make everything in here by hand. So, this is the welder I use. It's a Miller. All of my welding is done by TIG. I use angle grinders, sanders. That's how I get most of the shape in my sculptures. This is one of the other major tools over right here. My slip roller. This is how I get all of the curves and bends in most of the shaping. Otherwise, I'll do it by hand. Now when people talk about being a bronze sculptor, usually they cast. I don't cast my work. It's all fabricated and a bronze sheet. No casting whatsoever. Everything is done and shaped by hand. I just wanted to say thank you to Frederick Holmes and Company Gallery in Seattle and Fred Holmes for representing my work. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers.